you know, I'm not sure how I did it last year, but uh, this year it doesn't seem like I have a whole lot of extra time. I should be rolling in the time since I'm not teaching Spanish. But um, here I am, uh, 3.30, and I'm still waiting for the announcements to render. See that? Oh, ooh, that's kind of trippy. I can see the reflection. Waiting for the announcements to export. Um, and I'm, st I'm, I'm not quite running around like a chicken with its head cut off, with its head cut off. But um, I am not, I'm not taking naps. I'm not watching movies. I mean, I, uh, um, I don't know how I did it last year. That's, it's, I, I think I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm losing time somehow. But, uh, but I actually, th I think I'm getting a lot more done. So my video program's going super this year. I've got, I've, and yeah, I've been doing a lot more things in video. Um, we actually held anchor auditions, and I uh, had about 16 students audition. Most of them were really, really good. And uh, let's see. Um, yeah. I, um, I, I, I was going to say something. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, what was I going to say? My monkey... Keeping me comfort, keeping me uh, company here. Say hi, monkey. Um, oh, I had all kinds of things I was gonna say. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So this could be a short one. I had a lot to say, but uh, I guess I'll think about it tomorrow. Um, yeah, that whole thing with Google and tech support. What a freaking scam! What a scam! I found. I, I mean. I think yesterday I just filmed myself frustrated. I ended up finding out online how to solve the thing in like, you know, six or seven steps. Um, so once I found the solution, I sent an email back to Loyal Clark, the, the, the director of web services, because I had originally sent him an email saying it's all screwed up and people at the district are saying that you, Loyal, are the the head guy when it comes to our liaison with Google. Um, and before he was able to respond, I had that whole rigmarole with um, this place called Omni Tech Support. Don't ever use them, by the way. Don't ever use them. They were going to charge 250 bucks to do that. And so after about after that little incident with them, I uh, got online. I started looking, started reading forums. I hate reading forums. But... The, clo the the more narrow I made my search, I didn't exactly know what to search for. But the closer I got to it, I saw other people having similar issues. So I would polish my search a little bit and, and fine-tune it. Till finally, I saw some people had the same issues. And one guy whose solution had 67 people saying, hey, thank you, and zero saying that wasn't it. So I read that. Four steps, delete some preference files, relaunch Google Drive, and it works. Anyway, so I ended up sending that to Loyal, and he said, whoa. He was working with someone over the weekend, the director of communications, something like that. And she had the exact same problem, wasn't able to help her, wasn't able to help her. Then he got my message, and so it's a common thing, but, you know, 250 bucks. Yeah, I could have made that. But what kind of racket is that? You tell people, I ought to read, you know, I'm going to read you some of that stuff they said. I... I kept, I did a screenshot from time to time of their, of what they were saying. Uh, let me see if I can read that. Here it goes. Uh, this is the, this is the kicker. It says, Rob, as the process, and this is all cook, uh, cookie cutter, cut and paste. Uh, this is tech number 240 telling me this answer. Rob, as the processes to fix the problems involve isolating each folder and directory of the Google Drive online application and repairing them individually file by file along with removal of the bugs, it would cost you $249.99 to fix these issues while log logging into your Google Drive account. Talk about a bunch of BS. Do they even know what they're talking about? Isolating each folder and directory of the Google Drive online application? <laughs> that's that's so dumb that's so dumb they don't even know what they're saying they're just spitting out words um, 
That's at 242. At 242 also, tech number 240 said, I will remove all kinds of bugs present in your system and also will repair all types of system files which have got corrupted so that you can use your system without any further inconvenience. This will also ensure that all the data present in your system stays completely safe and secure. Croc alert! I just... And then tech number 240 said, We assure you 100% guaranteed fix. I said, You are nuts. This is a scam. Google has stopped working. There are no bugs. It is a Google issue and Google needs to fix it. And then I quit, turned off my internet, deleted... What a freaking crock they are. Um, yeah, what a crock. Where's the other one that I... Oh. Um, yeah, that's not a bad one. That's not a... That's... <laughs> what a freaking crock. Yeah, do not use Omni Tech Support. Um, dumb, dumb, dumb dumb. Anyway. Wow. Six minutes. Okay. That was more of a rant than a ramble. But anyway, I am done. Let's see. Is my final cut? No, I'm at 45%. Should I wait here? Should, should I make you wait with me? That would make sense, right? I should have you wait while I, while I have to wait. No, that's okay. That looks impressive, that timeline, but it's really not. It's pretty simple. But, um, all right. I got to go. See you later. Okay, this is getting to be a regular habit, but I decided to go to Omnitech's website because I remember yesterday they said that they were accredited by the Better Business Bureau. Here, let me show you the logo. I don't know if you can see it. Um, there it is right there, accredited. So I click on that, accredited Better Business. It does take me to the uh, Better Business Bureau uh, org webs, dot org website, and it says... Uh, Better Business Review, Omni Tech Support gives a phone number, and then it you know says overview. Um, it says it meets they meet the standards. You guys aren't going to be able to read that, but it is there. Um, but then I look at the complaints. There's a little complaints tab right there, and I look at that. Okay, I click, and what's it say? It says uh, 91 complaints closed with BBB in the last three years. Um, so. <laughs> You know, 30 every year, a couple every month, uh, 87 closed in the last 12 months. I just read the first one. Uh, and uh, Anyway, uh, I made the mistake of, this is someone, uh, I made the mistake of getting involved with Omnitech. After having problems with Omnitech for a couple of months, I asked for my service pack package to be canceled and the rest of my fee returned to me. They said they would do it, but did not. Um, uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. There are, let me go to another one. Um, let's see, I think I can close that one. Problems with product. Uh, I ask them to repeatedly stop calling me. I get call numbers from them. I'm a customer. You're going to be on my video if you walk in. Yeah, you're going to be on the video. You may as well walk in because there she is. Oh, She's my on my gosh. video now. Yeah. Um, anyway, you look on their website, there's a ton of complaints about them. And it is so annoying. And what I see is I see that the, um, oh my gosh, yeah, don't use them, don't use them, okay, talk to you later. Now, I'm really done.